So today I would like to talk about protein. Protein seems to be the subject of obsession for most people right now. In fact, Dr. Uh, Davis wrote a book recently called, called Proteinaholic, which I really highly recommend that you read. But today I would like to answer some questions about protein and what is protein, how much protein should, be, should one eat, and um, exactly when sh protein should be consumed during the day. First of all, let's define protein. <clears throat> protein is a molecule. It's a large molecule that your body needs to function for cellular function, hormone development, etc., etc. There are four macronutrients that are then, and there are a bunch of micronutrients. Protein, carbohydrates, fats, and water are four macronutrients. That, that means large molecules. Then there are thousands of micronutrients like antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and uh, phytonutrients, etc., etc. So protein is one of the four macronutrients. Protein is a large molecule that goes into the digestive system when consumed in food and it gets chopped down to its basic amino acid structures for further um, absorption into the body. Your body needs protein to function, okay, everyone knows that. But um, it has an ability to take amino acids and convert to other amino acids um, based on your body's needs. However, there are some essential amino acids that your body needs to get from food and that your body cannot con convert from one to the other. That's why they're called the essential amino acids. You may also um, have heard branch chain amino acids. Anyway, these are the branch chain amino acids, phenylalanine, phenylalanine, valine, threonine, tryptophan, methionine, leucine, isoleucine, lysine, histidine. These are the essentials and it has to come from food. Otherwise, your body has the ability to convert one to another. So you don't need all of the amino acids with every meal. So how much protein do you need per day? This is very well articulated in a book by Dr. Garth Davis, and I highly recommend that you read it. It's called Proteinaholic, and he basically uh, puts down all the studies that have shown how much protein should be consumed during the day. Uh, but I just basically um, took parts of what he has written and I'm going to present you here. So the protein recommendations um, is it's basically 0.6 grams per kilogram to 0.8 grams um, per kilogram per day. The RDA recommends 0.8 grams per kilogram, which is probably an overestimation. But regardless, what I want you to realize is that this is grams per kilogram of lean body mass. Okay, so it's not the total body weight. So 0.6 to 0.8 grams per kilogram of lean body weight per day. All right. So let's just go for the 0.8 grams per kilogram since that's what the RDA recommendations are. So if you have, let's just take me for example, I'm um, 107 pounds and about 93 um, pounds of lean body weight. If you take my weight in pounds divided by 2.2, that is about 42 kilograms. 42 kilograms times 0.8 would give me 33 grams. So that is 33 grams of protein that I would need per day uh, to have uh, more than enough um, protein, okay? Uh, so again, 0.6 to 0.8 grams per kilogram of uh, lean body mass per day. So if um, you took somebody who is overweight or obese, say they're 300 pounds, and you wanted to um, calculate how much protein they need, if you forget that they have about 100 pounds or more of uh, body fat mass, and you went, well, 300, um, uh, basically divided by 2.2, that's 136 kilograms times 0.8, that would be 109 grams of protein, and that's just way too much protein. Okay, so just remember uh, lean body mass. So the next question is who needs more protein? Does everybody need, need the 0.8 grams per kilogram? Well, the studies show that infants, athletes, the bedridden and the elderly probably need a little bit more protein, but for the sake of this talk, I would like to just uh, focus on um, regular people like me and perhaps athletes. So the studies show that the athletes need 0.94 grams per kilogram or about one gram per kilogram of lean body mass per day. Okay, so just for the simplicity of it, just remember one gram per kilogram. But then the studies went further. When, 
when is it best to take this protein? Is it better to uh, take the protein before a workout, after a workout, um, in one lump sum, or just uh, spread it out during the day? Well, there's some studies that suggest that the best time to take protein is um, actually right after a workout, and um, about 20 grams is what's estimated to be the best based on the studies, okay? Um, well, then you may ask, well, um, okay, so then what about the rest of the day? If I took, for example, 20 grams here, should I uh, divide up my uh, protein intake throughout the day? And the answer is yes. I mean, it's almost hard to avoid getting protein because if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet and you're eating healthy, you're getting adequate adequate levels of protein with each meal where you don't have to obsess over it. I mean, I personally never ever look at, am I getting enough protein? It just somehow works out. I just eat a whole food plant-based diet and I don't obsess over my protein and it turns out that I'm doing well because I'm gaining muscle and like I said, I never obsess over it or count my protein. But um, um, if you were to take a look at my diet and perhaps analyze how much protein I'm getting, I'm probably getting about 0.6 grams per kilograms, and that's how I like to keep it. But anyway, so 20 grams is the magic number, and <clears throat> after a workout is the magic number, and the rest of it should probably just uh, be uh, s split in um, naturally when you just eat regularly. So don't worry about it, it'll fall into place. So then um, if protein is good for you, then um, should you just take more? Um, is more better? The studies show that um, when you put, when you eat too much protein, it puts an acid load in your system, and it pretty much puts you in an in an acid base imbalance. Okay, it's a too much of an acid load. So more is not necessarily better. Okay, um, protein digestion and in, in particular animal um, protein digestion leads to ammonia production and that's an acid load. So if you're thinking, well, if a little bit of protein is good for me, should I just um, go out of my way to do more? The answer is no. Stay away from eating too much protein. That leads me to talking about the bodybuilders and the Olympians. I mean, these guys are probably working out four hours, five hours a day, lifting super heavy or doing some um, extremely heroic workouts or Olympians, uh, for them, 1.8 grams per kilogram is suggested. So, um, again, average people, um, I work out 25 minutes a day or so, lift pretty heavy, but I eat about this much, maybe some days this much. But um, for athletes who work out pretty hard, I'd recommend about this much, or the studies recommend this much. And for really those big bodybuilders and Olympians, probably 1.8 grams per kilogram. So a lot of people think, well, since protein is really good for me, why don't I just eliminate all the carbs and focus on eating a lot of protein? Well, you know, th that's not how it works. Um, you know, extra protein doesn't really necessarily mean uh, more muscle mass uh, synthesis. Uh, that's just not how it works. In fact, you need carbohydrates to synthesize muscle. So protein synthesis doesn't increase without adequate amounts of carbs. So remember that, do not cut out your carbs. And I took this quote from Dr. Garth Davis's uh, Proteinaholic book, which I think is brilliant. He says, quote, muscles fed protein in the absence of carbs is like an engine full of gas that can't run because there is no oxygen, unquote. I thought that was brilliant. So remember this eat your carbs or you won't have protein or I'm sorry, muscle mass increase or protein synthesis. So again, in conclusion, I would like to reiterate that overdoing the protein causes an acid load, extra calories that can lead to weight gain and could lead to cancer or aging. Why? Because there are two amino acids that have been linked to those. Increased methionine for example, has been linked to cancer, and leucine has been linked to aging. So if you ask me why do you not care about taking extra levels of protein, and, and why do you actually perhaps prefer to take less protein, there's your answer. Because I don't want premature aging, I want to stay looking younger, and I really don't want cancer either. So um, I want to keep it balanced, I, I want to stay fit, 
muscular, but I don't want to risk an acid load on my body or aging or cancer. Okay, so that's my reasoning. Um, okay, so again, if you are eating way too much protein, that crowds, at, it crowds out important micronutrient-rich foods like vegetables and fruits. So if your total caloric intake per day is about 1,200 and you're eating way too much protein, what happens is that you're crowding out your vegetables and your fruits and then you're basically your body ends up being devoid of all the important micronutrients and micronutrients come from vegetables and fruits so that piece of chicken is not giving you enough micronutrients you have to be eating the vegetables so if you're focusing on crowding your system with protein all the time and focusing on protein you end up consuming less micronutrients because you're not eating enough vegetables you're crowding out your vegetables and fruits, and that's not very intelligent. And um, in conclusion, I would say don't count or worry about your protein. Okay, that's key. Um, it's not that important. It falls into place. If you eat a whole food plant-based diet, and eat tons of fresh fruits and vegetables, you get enough protein. You don't have to worry about it. If you really wanna, you know, go out of your way to ex take extra protein, you know, add tofu or tempeh to your diet, and uh, that gives you, tofu has, or soybeans have a complete, um, uh, all of the branch chain amino acids and all the essential amino acids. So that's key, remember that. And if you really, really are still obsessed about taking protein powders, take it vegan, quality vegan protein powder after your workout uh, to get that 20 grams of uh, protein and um, that would be more than adequate. I hope that helps. Thank you.